I don't think Mr. Ross is in touch with what's really going on there. Uh, these are normal, everyday people that, that are dealing with this crisis, that are, are stuck in the middle of a political football. Traffic controller and union rep tonight is responding to those controversial comments made by the Commerce Secretary on how they should be dealing without a paycheck during the partial government shutdown. Our Mary Mills has more tonight from Indianapolis International. Planes continue to land at Indianapolis International without issue. But Mark Schneider warns after 34 days without pay, this is not sustainable. He says controllers are increasingly stressed, prompting their union along with the pilots and flight attendants to warn we cannot even calculate the level of risk currently at play nor predict the point at which the entire system will break. Your air traffic controllers in this building need to be laser focused on what they're doing, not worrying about which credit card they transfer a balance over so they can use the other one to, to get gas to come to work. Then came this. Mr. Secretary, there are reports that there are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. Ross suggested workers take out loans to help them get by. While this TSA worker picking up food shied away from the comments. Yeah, I try to stay off the Internet and all the, the political posts. Schneider was incredulous. They're working six days a week, ten hours a day. If you want your air traffic controller to go out and get another job driving Uber on his one day off, that's your call. That's not what I want. And while Ross later backed off those comments, it didn't help an already tense situation with no end in sight. At Indianapolis International, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.